Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Igor Muradian. On the issue of Armenians of Western Armenia, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Artsakh received René Roque, a former deputy of PACE, a member of the Franco Artsakh Friendship Circle. The governor of the U.S. state of Kansas, Laura Kelly, visited the memorial of the genocide against Armenians. Hiroishi Segawa, the first Japanese to study the genocide committed against Armenians in Deaths. Director Tiran Karapetian, son of monument specialist Sangal Karapetian, has died. The aim of the 100 archaeological monuments of Armenia project is to document the cultural heritage of Armenia and use it in the scientific and educational process. It is certain that Igor Muradian played a significant role in the Artsakh movement, shaping it into what it is today. Many argue that without him, the movement may not have developed at all. Igor Muradian was born in 1957. He graduated from the Industrial Faculty of the Moscow Plekhanov Agricultural Institute. Igor Muradian took charge of establishing the Artsakh Committee. In May 1988, he stepped down from his position as the committee's director. From 1990 to 1995, he served as a deputy of the Supreme Council and was a member of the Standing Committee of Defense and Internal Affairs. The primary focus of his work was analyzing the security conditions, risks and dangers in the Black Sea Caucasus region. Between 2009 and 2013, he worked as a political analyst for the newspaper Irates de facto. Igor Muradian passed away on June 17, 2018 in Yerevan after battling a severe illness. When we talk about the intangible cultural heritage of Western Armenia, we can't help but mention lavash. Bread has accompanied Armenians for thousands of years. Bread has been baked on the Armenian plateau since 3 to 2000 BC. In fact, large stockpiles of wheat and barley dating back to the 4th and 3rd millennia were discovered during excavations. Archaeologists claim that long ago on the territory of the Armenian plateau, people were engaged in agriculture and grew cereals. It seems that in ancient times, Armenians called cultivated these grains to obtain flour and then baked bread or Armenian lavash. Armenians stored grain in various warehouses, stockpiles, boats and underground wells specially designed for grain. After harvesting the harvest, villagers were in no hurry to immediately take it to the flour mill. In ancient times, the first harvest was always taken to the church and placed there. Only then could be a peasant gather his harvest, take it to the flour hill, grind it and then bake bread. However, the harvest was not brought to the blessing in bundles. Before taking them to the blessing, they were shaped into what is called the Hajbur. For this, the ears were shaped like the cross, the cross of eternity or the tree of life. The tree of life symbolized fertility, the beginning of life and longevity. Lavash is not only bread but also a cultural element of religious and worship significance in the life of Armenians. Let us first understand where the name Lavash comes from. Lavash is an Armenian word derived from the process of making it. After the dove is nicked, it is rolled out well. The name Lavash comes from the Armenian word Lavash of kashats, meaning well drawn. According to tradition, the ceremony of baking bread will begin early in the morning and the fire in the oven would be lit at sunrise. And the baking process was accompanied by blessings and good morning prayers. In ancient times, lavash was baked from holiday to holiday and in large quantities. This process usually took one or two days. There were also special songs that were sung while baking lavash, praising its flavor. In traditional life, bread baking was done in groups and one person could not bake bread alone. It it was considered an exclusively female occupation and it was considered a bad omen for a man to enter the bakery while bread was being baked. In this group work, everyone had a specific role, everyone had their own job. One prepares the dove, another rolls it out, and the most experienced one sticks the lavash dove to the wall of the tandoor. The unexperienced mostly passed the dove balls and in the process learned how to cook lavash from the more experienced ones. The full article is available on our website. Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh, Sergei Ghazaryan, received René Roque, the former deputy of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, the member of the France Artsakh Friendship Circle, who was on a visit to Yerevan. As reported by the Artsakh MFA Press Service News AM, the Artsakh Foreign Minister expressed his gratitude to Roque for his constant attention to Artsakh and his great contribution to the consistent strengthening of friendly relations between France and Artsakh. The sites discussed opportunities to overcome the existing situation around around Artsakh, as well as a number of humanitarian issues. 
The delegation led by Kansas Governor Laura Kelly, accompanied by Deputy Defense Minister Armand Sarkisyan, visited Tizernaka Bert Memorial Complex in Yerevan on June 22. Adjutant General, National Guard Commander, U.S. Brigadier General Michel Venerdi, Deputy Director of the Scientific Affairs of the Genocide Against Armenians Museum Institute, Edith Agazoyan, greeted the delegation and introduced them to the history of the creation of the memorial complex. She presented three cross stones placed on the territory of Tizernaka Bert commemorate the victims of pogroms organized by the Baku authorities at the end of the last century in Sumgait, Girovabad, and Baku. The history of five soldiers liberators of the Artsakh War who were buried near the memorial wall. Edith Agazoyan also touched upon the historical and legal aspects of the Artsakh issue and presented the anti-Armenian activities and propaganda of Baku. Mrs. Laura Kelly laid the rest at the memorial perpetuating the memory of the victims of the genocide perpetrated against Armenians. After which the guests laid flowers at the eternal flame and observed a minute of silence for the innocent victims of the genocide against Armenians. Edith Agazoyan escorted the guests to the memorial wall where the remains of the foreign public and political figures and missionaries are buried who raised their voices against the genocide perpetrated by the Turkey. Hiroishi Segawa is the first Japanese to deeply investigate the genocide against Armenians and to present his research in Japanese. Professor Hiroishi Segawa is a lawyer by profession. For a long time, the topic of preconditions for genocide was the center of his attention. About 40 years ago, in the 1980s, while researching genocide-related materials in the archives of the United Nations, he found a material entitled The 1915 Genocide Against Armenians, which formed the basis of his special interest and further commitment to the subject. Upon learning of this fact, Segawa, out of a sense of responsibility towards humanity, decided to take on the responsibility of opening the eyes of Japanese people who were unaware of the tragedy of the Armenians. He wrote The Forgotten Genocide Against Armenians. Research on the prevention and punishment of the massacre became very popular not only in Japan but also in Armenia. By analyzing numerous documents and presenting data, Segawa clearly proves that the genocide against Armenians was planned carefully prepared and executed. The author observes that every state should recognize the UN Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide as an important document. The government of Western Armenia appreciates the work of the Japanese scientist Hiroishi Segawa. From our side, we would like to emphasize that the Japanese people are one of those who have borne the heaviest burden of the crimes against humanity that have claimed the lives of millions of innocent people. Some 250,000 people died when atomic weapons were were used against civilians in the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, as happened during World War II. Realizing the tragedy and its consequences, the Japanese scientists spoke of it once again in order to prevent crimes against humanity. Sharing Japanese scientist Hiroishi Segawa's concern for the fate of the humanity, the government of Western Armenia would like to remind that our government is actively fighting against such crimes, which are a vivid example of the current policy of the Turkish-Azerbaijani duo towards the indigenous population of Artsakh. We would like to take this opportunity to express our condolence and support to the government and people of Japan. The government of Western Armenia expresses its condolence on the untimely death of Tiran Karapetian, son of Samvel Karapetian, founding member of the Union of Armenians of Western Armenia and former president of the Armenian Architecture Research Foundation. Tiran Karapetian was a talented filmmaker dedicated to the rights of the indigenous Armenian people of Western Armenia and the preservation of Armenian culture. This is evidenced by the films he created, some of which won awards. We wish strength and patience to the family and relatives of Tiran Karapetian. Rest in peace, dear Diran. The Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography of the National Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Armenia, in partnership with the American University of Armenia, has launched the program 100 Archaeological Monuments of Armenia. The aim of the project is to document Armenians' cultural heritage and use it in the scientific and educational process. The Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports told Armen Press, the project is designed to collect aerial images of 100 archaeological sites in Armenia and create a comprehensive online data 
database with accurate scientific descriptions of the sites, as well as aerial videos, animations, maps, and photos of monuments. The project was implemented on the basis of a memorandum signed in 2021 between the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography of the National Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Armenia and the American University of Armenia. It is a continuation of the new archaeological and ethnographic project initiated by archaeologist and historian Professor Grigor Areshian. Within the framework of the project, 100 archaeological monuments of Armenia are presented as a great wealth of historical heritage. Lesser known monuments were selected. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> 